The great outdoors can become not so great when you spot one, two, or even seven ticks after a hike. That's what happened to Paige Day, who recently found ticks not only on herself, but on her dog too. Panicked for just a second because it's kind of an odd sensation to have a tick on your head. She says ticks are a problem all over Omaha, with many taking to social media to complain. I, I definitely feel like they're out in full force more so than they normally are. Jody Green, entomologist with Nebraska Extension, says there are a few reasons why that could be. Normally peak tick season is in May, but since we had warmer temperatures and more people were going outside, we had people talking about ticks and sending us pictures in the beginning of March. There's a variety of tick species, but only black-legged ticks, also called deer ticks, carry the specific bacteria that can transmit Lyme disease. The last time we saw them in Omaha was 2019. We do have the American dog tick and the Lone Star tick, and they also can spread different diseases, just not Lyme disease. Removing ticks properly is important both to keep yourself safe and for the tick to be properly identified. If the tick is on you, simply remove it and place it in a bag. But if it's embedded in your skin... You want to use uh, pointy tweezers and get the tick um, as close to the skin as possible and then pull straight up. Dr. Rudy Katula, an infectious disease physician with Methodist Physicians Clinic, says some Lyme disease symptoms to look out for include... Headaches, uh, fevers, you know, and you develop rash. Up to 70 to 80 percent of uh, patients develop a rash. Symptoms need to be treated quickly with antibiotics. The longer you wait, the worse it gets. It can penetrate other tissues. It can penetrate the brain. It can penetrate the heart. Okay, and it can um, it can penetrate the nerves. Dr. Katula says ticks shouldn't prevent people from enjoying nature, especially after a year of staying mostly inside. Please get outside but educate yourself. Reporting in Omaha, Danielle Meadows, 3 News Now.